Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best camping flashlight in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these camping flashlight, you can check out the description below. If you wanna get a best quality camping flashlight according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have the Unite Archer 2 of the 3. First, it comes with an extra dim Firefly mode that emits a whopping 0.2 lumens. If that sounds paltry, it's because it absolutely is its Fordix dimmer than the dimmest setting on the other 8 flashlights we tested. While camping at night, the Firefly mode is incredibly useful. This is because your eyes will have adjusted to the dark, and a 0.2 lumen beam will be plenty for most camp chores. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Fenix Etwolf. A little bit of background on Fenix flashlights before I get into this review. Flashaholics appear to be big fans of Fenix flashlights. I came across references to the brand many times on flashlight sites and forums while doing research for this article. The main reasons for the fandom seem to be the durability and longevity of the brand's flashlights. Flashlight enthusiasts share plenty of stories and videos of themselves abusing their flashlights, and Fenix flashlights consistently survive horrific abuse, as one forum commenter put it. The number three position is held by Fenix FIV. We named the Fenix FIV our best value pick because it is one of the cheapest flashlights we tested, yet it sports the durability and longevity of the Fenix brand. Also, Know that the Fenix F is a tiny flashlight. It is smaller than a stick of lip balm and weighs only 0.4 Oz without the battery in. It was the smallest and lightest flashlight we tested. The F size will be a deal breaker for some. It will seal the deal for others. Those prone to misplacing small pieces of camping gear should certainly not buy this light. It is tiny and black and hard to locate in the depths of a backpack. Those looking for a tiny and lightweight camping flashlight that can fit in your pocket will like the EFIV. The main gripe I have with the EFIV is the twist switch, meaning you have to twist the flashlight's head to turn on the light and toggle between brightness modes. It isn't as user-friendly as a butt switch and requires two hands. It also lacks strobe and red light modes. Next at number 4, we have Night Eyes Radiant 3-in-1 LED Mini Flashlight. However, in addition to being quite cheap, it has a strobe mode and red light mode and can convert into a tiny camping lantern. We recommend it only if you are on a tight budget. Otherwise, go with any of the above recommendations. The user interface is a little clunky. You need to toggle between all the brightness modes to turn the beam on and off. And for some reason, it's the red light that strobes, not the white light. One positive is that the red light is on the back end of the flashlight, separate from the white light. This way you don't have to toggle through blindingly bright white light modes to arrive at the red light mode. The number 5 position is held by Fenix LD2. Feb 2020 update. Fenix has released a new version of the LD2, the LD2 V2.0, and discontinued the previous version that we tested. We've updated our links to point to the new version and are in the process of testing it. This was the third and final Fenix flashlight included in our test. The LD2 was near identical in performance to our runner-up, the Fenix Edwolf. I did like the pocket clip, which wasn't present on the other two Fenix flashlights. If you'd like small, quality camping flashlight which you can clip to your belt or pocket, this is the one for you. The number 6 position is dominated by Gold Zero Torch 250. I was hoping to be wowed by its cool techie features. I was certainly wowed for a moment, but after multiple nights of testing, I concluded this flashlight is not worth using for camping. First, let's talk positives. You can easily charge your electronic devices with this device. The solar panels work seamlessly. The hand crank is durable and easy to use, and along with the USB cord, it cleverly stores away when not needed. The floodlight and flashlight are bright, and the red light mode is good for nighttime use. Also, the Torch 250 is the only flashlight we tested with a hook that actually hangs from a closed tent hanging loop. Moving on to the next at number 7 with J5 Tactical Vone Pro. The MSRP for this light is listed as higher on the manufacturer's site than the amount it's usually available for according to Camel Camel Camel's price history. Because of that, I'm going to classify it as a budget flashlight for the purposes of this review. Budget flashlights abound on Amazon, so before offering my review, I'd like to let you know about a potential risk you take when buying them. 
Selfbolt, a prolific flashlight reviewer, wrote about a consistency problem he encountered with budget flashlights. As he puts it, I quickly discovered that budget lights could be incredibly inconsistent from batch to batch. As a result, he rarely recommends or reviews budget lights anymore. What's more, the Sweet Film, an excellent review site, tested a number of budget flashlights including the J5 Tactical Vone Pro and concluded that due to the inconsistencies mentioned above, we can't recommend any of the inexpensive generic lights we tested. The number 8 position is held by Maglite Mini Pro LED. This classic flashlight isn't great for camping. It faces a similar problem as the J5 Tactical Vone Pro. Its starting brightness level is too bright. But, unlike the Vone Pro, you cannot adjust the brightness. Needless to say, it's a poor choice for tent use, likely the worst we tested. It works fine around the campground until the sky darkens and your tired eyes start begging you for a dimmer light. The light is so bright that, when I went to use the bathroom late one night, I found myself turning it off and trying to find my way by moonlight instead. My eyes had already started to adjust to the brightness, though, and the sudden lack of light made it hard to see. I ended up using the dimmer flashlight on my smartphone. A good camping flashlight is supposed to make camping easier. In that instance, this mag light felt like more of a burden. Next at number 9, we have Anchor Boulder LC90 LED flashlight. The Anchor Boulder LC90 is one of the best flashlights for camping on our list. Not only does it come with a very affordable price tag, but it also has a wide range of lighting settings and a reasonable battery life. With five different lighting settings, low slash medium slash high slash strobe slash sauce and a zoomable beam, the Boulder LC90 is suitable for anything from night hiking to camp cooking. On full brightness, the 900 lumens LED beam should stretch for almost 200 meters. The tough aluminium casing is both water and shock resistant, too. Our only criticism is that the double cell battery and larger than average handle does make it bulkier than other flashlights on this list. However, it should still squeeze into your coat pocket. Overall, we think the Boulder LC90 is one of the best flashlights for the money. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Nikkor MH23 USB Rechargeable Compact Flashlight. The Nikkor MH23 is the most compact rechargeable flashlight on this list. It weighs in at just 3.39 oz and fits snugly into the palm of your hand. It's also fitted with a pocket clip and comes with a lanyard holster and a plastic battery case. Its size doesn't limit its power. However, the Nikkor MH23 has a maximum output of 1800 lumens. Reaching nearly 300 meters, even more impressive is its 300-hour runtime. The five lighting settings are controlled by one button and offer an even wider range than the Felix Up 35, 1800 lumens on high and one lumen on low. This flashlight is also waterproof up to 2 meters and 1.5 meters shockproof. When it's time to recharge, we like that this flashlight gives you the option to charge by USB or change the batteries. The Nikkor MH23 is compatible with Cone 123 batteries as well as normal 18,650 batteries. That's all for today. We upload light and eye accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.